This man, whose name is Mark Schwager, worked at companies ranging from Tesla to Zooks to Toyota. At Tesla, for example, among his accomplishments, he served as head of its Gigafactory, led the operations planning team, and built the business system for the electric automaker's Fremont, California plant. Now, he is building electric and autonomous tractors. He is heading Monarch. Driverless battery electric tractors are coming via company led by a Tesla veteran. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And also, please give us thumbs up for this video. And if you have interesting videos about Tesla and electric vehicles, please send them via our contact information. Ed Garston reports in Forbes that enduring bad weather, insects, disease, or sagging prices such as the life of a farmer, but the com um, combination of this virus, tighter immigration laws, and wildfires in California have not only made it tough to find tractor drivers, it's driven up their cost by about 25% in the past years. So it is very difficult to find tractor drivers in the agricultural sector. Here's the quote. We're now looking at $30 an hour uh, as a baseline for tractor drivers and farmers are bearing the burnt of it, said Mark Schwager, former Tesla veteran and co-founder and president of Monarch Tractor. They're telling us they can't work with it. They are having trouble finding the labor. Labor quality is an issue. Safety is an issue. Insurance is an issue all around a very dirty, dangerous and dull jobs. So how great would it be if farmers could run tractors that didn't need drivers and better yet run less expensively on battery power? Electric tractors for farmers running by themselves. Extremely great that would be, right? That's why Monarch Tractor was born, led by a Tesla veteran. The Livermore, California-based startup developed a self-driving battery-powered tractor that will go into full production next year in 2022. It's a tractor, it's not a farm robot, stressed Shager during an interview at the just completed the battery show in the suburbs of Detroit. Three-point hitch, hydraulic, we have developed software control of the hydraulics. We needed to make sure there were zero compromise for these farmers. On the power side, the Monarch tractor uses batteries featuring MC11 chemistry which Schwager says is the most energy dense chemistry you can buy. Friends, I haven't heard any batteries MC11 in the auto electric vehicle words. If you have heard anything, please comment in the comment section below. I would like to hear more about MC11 battery chemistry, which Schwager says is the most energy dense chemistry you can buy. Range vary. Range of this Monarch tractor varies depending on the task, about eight to 10 hours for basic everyday tasks such as mowing and spraying and around five hours for tougher jobs like plowing or disc, um, disking. No need to drive the tractor back to the barn or recharge. Batteries can be swapped out in the field and no need to have a driver in the seat. Unlike the array of sensors used in autonomous passenger vehicles, Monarch tractors are guided only by cameras. Because here's a quote. No LiDAR, no radar, mostly one, because it's very expensive. And two, some of the practices that we want farmers to employ are more sustainable, like cover cropping, explains Schwager. If you're going down a row of vines, basically a cover crop is something that grows in the middle of that. So you can have like four feet of grass in the middle of the row, shaking in the wind, that's going to fool up LiDAR pretty heavily. You know that Tesla vehicles have have moved from uh, uh, from r radar to a vision cameras. But the Monarch tractor is not what's known as level five or fully autonomous vehicle. Someone is always monitoring its moves remotely. If something goes wrong, the tractor sends an alert. 
Given the tractor travels at only two or three miles an hour, stopping distance is only a few feet and the wide perimeter is enforced around it as it's working. Schwager says the human factor essentially goes to zero. The difference in price between Monarch's autonomous electric tractor and, say, a diesel-powered John Deere tractor unit is about 1.5 times higher. But Schwager toots the savings through battery power and labor will result in a return on investment in less than two years. If you include the price of the John Deere less than six months, he added. The backstory of how Monarch's tractor came to be is almost as fascinating as the high-tech farms vehicle it's producing. Schwager worked at companies ranging from Tesla to Zooks to Toyota. At Tesla, among his accomplishments, like I said, he served as head of its Gigafactory, led the operations planning team, and built the business systems for the electric car makers Fremont, California, which is one of the largest uh, factories uh, Tesla is operating um, in the United States. You know, it, it, Tesla also has a company in uh, factory in the U in Europe. That's why I said one of the largest. Assembly plant and led the. He also assembly plant and led the manufacturing program for Tesla's collaboration with Toyota for the Rav4 uh, EV. He met Pravin Penmitsa of and Zachary Omonduro, two of Monarch's eventual co-founders during his time at Zooks. Several years earlier, Penmitsa and Omohundro had started a small company of their own, having won a grant for powering global agriculture from the U.S. Agency of International Development. They had built a small but underpowered battery electric but not autonomous tractor. They all stayed in touch and in 2018, the Triumvirate realized autonomous systems had become cost-efficient to put on tractors and so the group decided to form a company. But there was one missing piece, a farmer. Schwager recalls his good friend Lyft co-founder John Zimmer introduced them to Carlo Mondavi of the famous wine family. He is also an incredibly passionate, sustainable farmer. He is a North Star with respect of how farming should be, Schwager said. The company has now raised three rounds of funding through venture capital and other strategic partners, including agricultural equipment giant Case New Holland. Our partnership with CNH is really valuable and they're going to help with all aspects of industrialization, commercialization and after sales and we're very excited about our relationship with them, Schwager said. Pilot tractors are now being built and Monarch's order book is open. Full-scale production is planned for next year in Livermore in small volumes, but that could expand. Through all his experiences with different CEOs, Schwager said he's using those lessons in leading Monarch Tractor into the latest venture experience, explaining, for me, one of the things I thought you can be overly focused on one aspect. So if you are overly focused on sales, then you may end up shooting yourselves in the foot on execution. If you are overly focused on design, you may have compromises on engineering. If you are overly focused on product, probably great on the front end, but the back end becomes a mess. Indeed, Schwager and his partners are not only focused on being good stewards, says Ed Garstan in Forbes. He says uh, in the, uh, the, uh, they are not, uh, not only focused on being good stewards of their new company. By producing zero emissions, self-driving tractors, Schwager says they are also helping farmers achieve their constant goal of being good stewards of Earth, which is a good thing. Friends, you know, I personally am not very much in favor of making everything done by robots in every industry because I think and I believe that people should work. People must work. If this whole robotization is going to make us very lazy, that's not a good thing for humans. Then more bad things will come after that. But when it comes to agriculture, which deals with feeding people, feeding the growing number of 
population in, in on this world, on this planet that we all share together, then I come in favor of building uh, processes, electric tractors uh, and self-driving tractors that will keep the cost of food lower at the end in supermarkets make food more available more efficient producing foods by farmers farmers can be happy and more hungry people will be happy in this world let me know your thoughts please in uh, about this video about the monarch self-driving tractor and how tesla is kind of exporting engineers from their experience to go and share tesla experience in other industries this is armin haria from torquenews.com if you guys have great videos please send them to me and um, you can contact me using my email which is in about section of our youtube channel this is armin haria from talknews.com give us thumbs up for this video and i'll see you soon in our next report let's be kind to each other god bless you everyone and peace be with all of you